What's up guys, Mr. Rushke here. Run through these uh, homework problems you were confused on real quick. All right, number 20, this is the 6.3 homework. Uh, what is this, oof, okay. So five over a plus two, minus one over a minus two, all over three over two plus a, plus six all over two minus a. Okay, so we need to make sure, right, first step is we combine the top. We combine the top into one fraction, okay? So I look at this left denominator, it's missing an a minus two that the other one has. So I'm gonna multiply the top and bottom by a minus two. Right, the other denominator is missing an a plus two, which the other denominator has. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure they have the same denominator. Then that. now at this point, I can just subtract straight across. Okay. Uh, it's going to make my life a lot easier if I um, simplify this numerator ahead of time, okay? So I'm going to expand everything out. All right, combine like terms. And refactor, so it's going to be 4 times a minus 3 all over a minus two times a plus two. So there's my top, there's my top fraction there, okay? Now I'm gonna combine the stuff and the denominator into one fraction, okay? All right, so I see that denominator on the left there is missing a two minus a. So I'm gonna multiply by two minus a on the top and bottom, okay? On the right here, my denominator is missing a two plus a. So I'm gonna multiply by two plus a on the top and bottom. So 3 times 2 minus a plus 6 times 2 plus a. All right, and then again, it's going to make my life a lot easier if I take this, if I expand it out, combine like terms and refactor, okay? Okay, so then that factors to 3 times a plus 6 all over 2 plus a times 2 minus a, okay? Good stuff, okay? So that's my bottom, okay? All right, third step here, if we multiply the top. All right, we're going to multiply the top, so 4 times a minus 3. Okay, we're going to multiply the top by the reciprocal of the bottom, okay? How are we doing, guys? Hi. All right. Good, so we're just gonna multiply straight across. That gives us four times a minus three times uh, two plus a times two minus a all over a minus two. Times a plus two, times a plus six. All right. Good. So we want to simplify. There's our answer. We want to simplify it, okay? So our excluded values are a equals two, a equals negative two, and a equals negative six, okay? And then these cancel, these cancel, uh, okay. So these right here, I'll do it with like a dashed line, right? These cancel quote, but what did they leave behind again? That's right, they leave behind a negative one and that's because it's a subtraction and they're flip-flopped, okay? Two minus a over a minus two is negative one, okay? And then other than that, um, nothing else is gonna cancel. So we're gonna have negative four times a minus three all over three times a plus six. Don't forget that three. So there's my answer here, okay? Good stuff, okay, there you go. That's number 20. Let's move on to 25, 25.
eliminate. Uh, oh, this is not too bad. So we got negative 2x over x minus y all over y over x squared. Okay, so remember the first step. Make sure the numerators combine into one fraction. Second step, make sure the denominators combine into one fraction, okay? Third step is we take the top fraction, we multiply it by the reciprocal of that bottom, okay? It's going to be negative 2x cubed all over y times x minus y, okay? And then we, so there's our answer. You want to make sure it's simplified, okay? So let's write down our excluded values, y equals 0, and then x, y equals 0, okay? For this one, okay, I got x, y equals 0 because I took both my factors and I wrote that they equal 0, okay? So that y equals 0 is pretty obvious, but this x minus y equals 0, again, you're still just solving for x, okay? So you're just going to add y by to both sides to get x by itself. So these are my excluded values, okay? And then, again, nothing actually cancels here. So uh, it's just, just this. Okay, that's your answer. Good stuff. That was a quick one. Let's go to 50. 50. Here we go. 3x to the negative 1 plus 3y to the negative 1 all over 4x to the negative 2 minus 9y to the negative 2. Okay. Again, so this is just like the rest of the problems in this unit, except we have to do what? We have to do that step 0, right? We have to step 0 that's flipping, right? Flip the negative exponents, okay? All right, so it's going to be 3 over x plus 3 over y, okay? All over 4 over x squared minus 9 over y squared, okay? All right, um, because of this minus and that plus there, we can't actually take our negative exponents and move them all the way to the other side of, like, the entire frac fraction right there. Okay, we can't do that. What we have to do is just make 3y to the negative 1 into its own like individual mini fraction. Then we can move y to the negative 1 to the bottom of that. And same for these other ones, okay? Same for these other ones, okay? So down here, okay, it's just the same steps, okay? So we got to combine the top into one fraction. So that's going to be what? It's going to be, I'm going to multiply both, both the top and bottom of that by y, multiply the top and bottom of this one by x to make sure they have the same denominator. Then I can add straight across all right and on the bottom here right i need to make sure they this denominator here on the left has a y squared in the top and bottom denominator on the right should have an x squared in the top and bottom so it's going to be four what is that four y squared minus nine x squared all over x squared y squared okay so then my third step so, right third step is we multiply the top by the reciprocal of the bottom Okay, so let's multiply across. We get x squared, y squared times 3y plus 3x all over xy times 4y squared minus 9x squared. Okay, good. So then we need to simplify. We need to simplify our answer, right? Right? Three steps of simplifying. Factor, excluded values, cancel. Okay, so factor, excluded values, cancel. Okay. So we can't factor anything in the top. Oh, no, we can. We can pull out a 3, right? Let's pull out that 3. Yeah. Yeah, let's pull out that 3. Okay. Good stuff. Let's pull out a 3. And the bottom, that's a difference of squares right there. So it's going to be 2y minus 3x times 2y plus 3x. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, this is what, number 50? Good stuff, okay. Then uh, let's write down our excluded values. So we have x equals zero, we have y equals zero, we have two y minus three x equals zero, which is two y equals three x, which is two thirds y equals x. So x equals two thirds y, okay? 
And then here we have 2y plus 3x equals 0, or 2y equals minus 3x, or x equals negative 2 thirds y. So let's do x equals negative 2 thirds y. Exclude those guys. Excluded. All right, and then let's uh, cancel these, okay? So this x and this y cancel with the x. Um, so what they do is they cancel with one of the x's and one of the y's in the numerator, so we just have 3xy left. And then nothing else cancels, so our final answer is 3xy times y plus x all over 2y minus 3x times 2y plus 3x. Okay, that's my final answer. Good stuff. Okay, uh, let's move on to what's the next one you guys wanted? 68, 68. 68. Uh, okay. Gotta turn the page. Ooh, here's a good problem. Ooh, yeah, I never talked about one like this, did we? Okay, cool. So we have, uh, look at this. We have a fraction here inside of a fraction, inside of a fraction, okay? So what we need to do here is I'm gonna break this problem down into a simpler problem. I'm just gonna do the stuff in pink right here first, okay? I should be able to just do the stuff in pink and then I'll come back, okay? So we wanna try to break down these problems into parts, okay? Now it's just a regular problem like what we've been doing, okay? So make sure the top is combined into one, which it is, It's just there's just a one there. Now let's make sure these two and the bottom are combined into one fraction. So this denominator here needs an x, Okay, so this is gonna, that bottom's gonna combine to x minus one all over x, okay? That's gonna be equal to the top times the reciprocal of the bottom, okay? All right, so it's just x over x minus one. So now my problem up here has turned into this. Okay, now it's more on par with the problems we've been seeing, okay? So let's make sure, make sure the top is combined into one, which it already is. Now we gotta make sure this is combined into one, okay? So I have one over one minus x over x minus one, okay? What I'm gonna do, right, this denominator on the left here is missing an x minus one factor, so I'm gonna multiply the top and bottom by x minus one. All right, that's gonna give me, it's uh, gonna give me, x over um, x minus 1 minus x all over x minus 1 and these two x's will cancel so I'll have x over negative 1 over x minus 1 okay final step then just multiply the top by the reciprocal of the bottom okay that gives me x times x minus 1 all over negative 1 okay um, and then uh, there's no, let's see, let's simplify, okay? There's nothing we can factor. There's no excluded values, actually. We would just set, the only one would be negative one equals zero, which has no solutions, so no excluded values. Just leave it factored, okay? Nothing crosses out. This is our final answer, okay? Good stuff, 68. Uh, and then what, 69? Let's do 69. Uh, woof, sheesh. Anyway, 69 is going to be 2 over y squared minus 5 over xy minus 3 all over x squared all over 2 over y squared plus 7 xy plus 3 over x squared. Okay. Okay, so again, same thing, okay? I want to make sure the top is combined into one fraction, okay? Make sure the top is combined into one fraction, all right? So uh, we're gonna have to just break this problem down into two parts. So I'll do the top in orange, okay? All right, so what is this denominator missing that the others have? Okay, it's y squared, it has two y's, and needs two x's, okay? It needs, there's one x over here, but there's two x's over here, so it needs an x squared, so I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by x squared, okay? All right, so I'm going to do that, okay? This one in the middle, right? What's it missing that the others have? It's missing an x squared and a y squared. So I need to multiply the top and bottom by an x and a y. And then this other fraction here in the 
denominator, it's missing a y squared. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply the top and bottom by y squared. Okay. Good stuff, so then that will simplify to um, 2x squared minus 5xy minus 3y squared, okay? Uh, and that's um, all over x squared y squared. Okay, cool, okay? Second part of the problem, we wanna combine all the pink stuff in the bottom into one fraction, okay? So this fraction on the left here, okay? It's two over y squared, okay? What does it need? What is it missing? It's missing an x squared. It's missing two x's that this other one has, okay? So we need to multiply the top and bottom by x squared. This one in the middle, okay? It's missing an x squared and a y squared. So we're gonna multiply the top and bottom by xy, okay? And then this fraction here on the right, it's missing a y squared, right? So we need to multiply the top and bottom of that by y squared, okay? So that's gonna simplify to 2x squared plus 7xy plus 3y squared. All right, so there we go, okay? And then my last step again is to multiply the top by the reciprocal of the bottom. So my final answer, well, not almost final answer, I need to make sure I simplify. So we take the top, we multiply that by the reciprocal of the bottom. All right, so there we go. Okay, and then we gotta make sure we simplify our answer. So make sure everything's factored. Um, I'm wondering if we can factor this in the middle. B squared, sorry, it would be B squared minus four times two times negative three Y squared. That would be what, 25 Y squared. Um, plus, oh great, it is factorable, cool. So we can factor this guy right here, okay? I'll color code that for you guys, okay? We can factor that. And then, um, let's see if we can factor this one on the bottom. Uh, it's gonna be b squared minus four times a times c. That's also gonna be factorable. Okay, so I'll color code these. I'll highlight this one on the bottom in red. Okay. All right. So then the bottom one factors to there's gonna be an x, an x. Okay, so this is two times one. This is three times one. Um, people might get confused. Just ignore like the Y for now, guys. Actually, I mean, I might even just erase it. I'll just cross it out, okay? The only thing different that happens is you just gotta put a Y at the back of the binomial to, to account for that, okay? Other than that, you just kinda like ignore it and factor it like you would another trinomial, okay? So let's see here. This needs to be one times three, okay? These two, our signs are plus and minus, okay? So it's gonna be two times three needs to be negative, so two and three, okay? And then uh, one and one. I think that's how it factors. Yes, it is, good stuff, good stuff, okay? So that's what that one factors to, then let's write in the x squared, y squared. Let's factor the red real quick, okay? All 
All right, and again, just guys, just ignore the Y here. All you have to do to account for that is just write a Y at the back of both binomials, okay? All right, so the signs are gonna be plus and plus. This is two times one. This is uh, um, two or one times three. Okay, so two, three, one and one. Good stuff. Good stuff. That works, right? Let me make sure. Yes, it does. Good. Okay. So now let's write down our excluded value. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So uh, let's do x squared equals zero. That gives me x equals zero. Y squared equals zero gives me y equals zero. Let's see. Two x plus y equals zero gives me um, x equals negative one half y. Okay, this other one, x plus 3y equals 0, that gives me, um, what does that give me, x equals negative 3y? Good stuff, so we're going to exclude those, exclude those. There you go. And then now we can cancel, so these will cancel, these will cancel, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So then our final answer is x minus 3y all over x plus 3y. Boom, done. Okay, that one was a little tougher. Okay, so there you go.